All right, our final third place bout of the morning. Dom Bradley in the red, Hayden Zilmer in the blue. Bradley quickly on the board, just five seconds into the match. It's kind of an interesting matchup. Bradley, a guy who's been at heavyweight probably since his freshman year of high school, maybe even before that, I would imagine. Zimmer, a guy who has come up and continued to come up in weight from 86, 92, 97, now at 125 kilos. Definitely smaller than Don Bradley, but most are. Zimmer not looking incredibly small at the weight. He's a big dude. Pretty sure he's part Viking. I think it was Christian telling me actually Don Bradley wrestled in the Fargo finals one year at heavyweight in the same year Hayden Zimmer won it at 88 pounds. <laughs> and they are now wrestling here for third place at the World Team Trials. And Bradley's going to get the first passive of the match. Bradley out of Columbia, Missouri in the Tiger Style Wrestling Club. Zilmer, Minneapolis in the Gopher Wrestling Club. And the key for Zilmer here is don't end up underneath Bradley. He's going to have a speed advantage but Bradley with an obvious size and strength advantage. So if you don't finish your shots quickly, that's what spells danger. Now Zilmer hit for passive. And that is Zilmer's second, so he is on the clock. And if I'm Bradley, I'm not taking any unnecessary risks. I'm controlling center. Getting step outs and counters. Attention, Greco Roman wrestlers. We will start loading all three mats with these Greco third place bouts. All three mats will now be Greco bouts. Shout out to my man Brett Haas, correct me. It was actually 84 pounds for Zilmer, not 88. Even more, always keeping me on my toes. And that does it, Dom Bradley with the step out and the passive point goes into the break up two to zero. Drag attempt for Bradley, but it's actually Zilmer that gets the leg. Pretty quickly lets it go, though. I think that was Zilmer not wanting Bradley to sprawl and him get trapped underneath, probably wisely. And now Bradley's going to go on the clock.
And there's the point for Zilmer. No points scored on the shot clock. Bradley running Zilmer across the map, but he pivots at the last second, circles in. Nice job there by Zilmer. Now things a little bit more interesting with this being a one point match. Any point for Zilmer puts him in the lead. And without another passive point, Zilmer's gonna have to pick up the pace a little bit and eventually go out and risk taking an attack. There he takes a single leg, backs out quickly though. Now just over 30 seconds remaining. And shot by Zilmer. Good sprawl by Bradley. Zilmer still holding on, somehow getting up to his feet. His head's caught in the middle though. Now he's got Bradley elevated. Two offered and confirmed. I think we might see a brick come out. He was close to not exposing. I'm not sure if he did. And we are gonna get a brick. So the referees will take a look at it. Very close to whether or not he broke 90. I'm not sure he did. I'm gonna have to take another look at it before I can say for sure. And I do think Bradley did expose. They are showing the replay up on the big screen. Maybe not the best camera angle. But it looks like to me he did break 90. Good job there by Hayden Zilmer. Took a lot of strength to come up on that shot. And then great job sliding underneath. Bradley and popping him up over top. Two is confirmed, so one more point will go up on the board for Zilmer. And now he's gonna need a takedown. Can't even just do a step out. Excuse me, a step out wouldn't have even worked last time because Zilmer now has the two. But a takedown will put Bradley in the lead. Bradley pressuring forward, but that'll do it. Hayden Zilmer up at 125, making the national team finishing in third place here at the World Team Trials. And that'll do it for the third place bouts this morning. Finals going down at 3 p.m. Central, excuse me, 3 p.m. Eastern.